Hi, you guys. This reading is only for you who have clicked on this video. It doesn't matter what sign you are. It's not sign specific. It is the energy I'm picking up on you who have clicked on this reading. Let's find out what you need to know. I'm just going to shuffle two more times. Spirits, what do the viewers of this reading need to know right now? Alright, you guys, let's see what you need to be aware of right now. Okay, the first card you have is the Ace of Pentacles. Something looked really good here in the past. It looked like a new doorway opened up for you. Some It looked like something that had a lot of potential. I'm looking into the past. And with the Five of Cups next, whatever this was, it didn't work out as planned. Okay? You could, you could even have some regrets here for... Um, beginning this or you you think of things that you could have done when you look back because this is you looking back uh, I should have never went after that I should have done things in a different way so here you are moving ahead um looking ahead anyway it doesn't look like this horse is moving you may feel tired or something I'm not sure why but um, you're taking that pentacle, that seed away, that thought in your mind, you're taking it somewhere else. The next card you have is the Three of Cups. There's, some, there's something here in the present moment where these are friends or family that you're surrounded by. And we're going to go back and clarify the cards. In the center of your reading, you have the world. All right, so you you obviously feel like whatever this was in the past that looked like it had a lot of potential that you were going to build upon, um, that energy is closing out. It, it's over. It's done. And why it's showing up right now, I'm not sure. But when we go back and clarify, we'll, we'll see. There's something else here showing up that I'm seeing you celebrating um, you could have literally moved to another place. It doesn't have to be a literal move, but this is you moving into calmer water towards something new, something different. And we're going to find out how that is working out for you. It looks like right now, though, you know, like this is good. This is happy. The next card you have is the hanged man. Yeah, you're really thinking about this this new situation and how it's going to work out in the long term now. Let's look into the future. You have two of cups, so you have someone here with you showing up here in the future. And then you have the six of pentacles. This person's still with you right here with the six of pentacles. There's some type of an exchange of energy between the two of you. And then you have the Knight of Cups. So you have a messenger showing up right here. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Three of Wands. And you have the Magician. You're, um, from the outside looking in, you put something out into the universe. You put some type of energy out into the universe. There's a manifestation taking place and it's like you're waiting for the return. Tell me why this Ace of Pentacles is here. 
devil. See, whatever it was in the past, it's something that turned out to be toxic. It didn't work out. And um, it could be some type of contract or this could be a person that you were dealing with. <laughs> but it ended in regret. Like, oh, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Could have something to do with a home with the Ten of Pentacles showing up here. But you, you're looking back could be a home or a marriage but you're you've learned the lesson basically all right you were dealing with someone here um that is showing up as the page of swords like this person would use this sword um to do things to irritate you or to say things to irritate you it, it's something that that puts you together with someone else here where there was a chain it locked you in to some type of situation and here's the regret why is the five of cups here i feel like this is a situation that you trusted you felt like this is going to be really good you know but no so do you feel regret? Do you feel sad for entering into this contract or whatever this is with this energy of the devil, this toxic energy? You thought it would be good for you and good for them. And so here you are making a judgment call, making a decision that, okay, I'm taking my losses. I'm going to accept this as a loss and I'm going to move on, move ahead. I'm going to move on. There's nothing that you can do to repair this situation. And here you see the movement with the Knight of Pentacles. I can see you this time, though this time you have a suit of armor on as you move into the new direction. Okay, you're not as um, feeling as easy of just giving into the next new investment of your time or your money you're armored up here tell me why the knight of pentacles is here you've got to um you've got to move ahead there's family here there's love you're worried with the nine of swords You've got to bring these people or these children or whoever these people are to you um, to a place that is safe. There's happiness. The sun shines. There's rainbows. There's complete emotional fulfillment. But you're having to move slowly here for because you the Knight of Pentacles is their slow movement. And I see you actually getting getting to some place here. Why is the Three of Cups here? There you are holding the pentacle again. Okay. Right there in your hand. And as far as this energy goes with you, this energy of stability and... um. This moving ahead, moving forward, finding your place, you will be receiving good news. You have the Page of Wands right here, so you will receive good news. And you will be celebrating with these other people when you tell them the news. And this completely closes out this cycle. Tell me why the world is here. You, you have to deal with the world, though, okay? The real world, what's on the outside. There's someone here that is world worldly, I want to say. 
And I don't know how to describe this person other than to say it's someone outside of your circle, outside of your family, outside of the people that you love, that you care about. Um, it's outside of the safety zone. It shows up here as the devil. You thought the cycle was completely closed out. This is someone that you offered unconditional love to or you offered something great to. All right, the cup that you offered, whoever this is, is spilling out with love, emotions. Your heart went out to this person. And this person is in pain. They're hurting. Um, they could have a legal matter going on, but inside of their heart, there is pain, there is rain, there is overthinking. And so the next card you have is there's this feeling of feeling stuck now. Because whatever this devil energy is, whoever this person is, they're like, hey, we had a contract, we have a bond what did you do? When you walked away from them, they feel like they they may feel like you you took something from them. Why is the hanged man here? Whoever that devil energy is that you walked away from, they, they had some type of an issue here um, that took them away from you for a little while, but they're coming back now. Look at you looking over at them like the, the wounded warrior. Like, oh no, here we go again. They're coming back, walking towards you again. You have temperance here. They want to even the score, all right? And this energy is going to come rushing towards you very quickly with the Knight of Swords energy. This person um, is like, hey, you disturbed my peace. You disturbed my balance. You have roots in the ground. I didn't mean to pass up the Six of Cups, but you are like standing in front of the energy that you consider this family, this home, this love. You're standing in front of it like the wounded warrior, you know, protecting that energy. And this person, they, they're, you haven't seen the last of them yet. They're coming back towards you, shouting, yelling. Hey, you disturbed my peace, my balance. You did something. And like I said, with the King of Swords here, this person, they may have some type of legal matter here. Because if you look right here, we have the King of Swords and we have the Eight of Swords right there, right next to them. So whatever the newness is that you have built, you thought this cycle closed out, that it's out. Whatever this newness is that you've built, here they come walking towards your newness. And then when I look into the future, I'm not really sure whether they're going to be able to get in there. You know, we'll see. Um... We'll see, but I'm seeing someone else show up in your energy here in the future. And so let's just lift up these cards and let's look into the future. And see if that, that energy that I just described to you can even get back in again. Because, I mean, there's a legal matter. Just as I pick up some more cards, I have Justice Libra energy. And if this person does not show up again here, 
they're just they're just out it's like justice is coming in and um the scales are balanced and this person can try to to come back into your energy you may hear um messages or something from other people around the grapevine this person's doing this or that um because they are just as i pick up this deck i see the knight of swords here too they're running around um uh, saying things in their perspective their point of view which is a very manipulated distorted point of view but right here I see someone else in your energy with you tell me why the two of cups is here There's love here. The sun is shining. There's growth in this connection right here. Someone that you're connecting with. <coughs> you have the happiest card in the tarot deck here with the sun. And you got someone here that doesn't really belong. So I feel like this is this person. It may be a queen of wands. But this person's looking over here at the ten of swords. Like as if, okay, so you're happy, but you betrayed me. This person feels betrayed, but they have a very distorted, manipulati manipulative point of view or perspective. They could have addictions or something. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Keep getting a lot of cards here. Um, here's the King of Swords again. All right. This is like a... This can be like a legal matter, a policeman, something here. I keep seeing for someone this is legal or... Strong energy showing up here of a decision being made. And I'm not sure what this means, but it's like as if you're con you're connecting with someone over here and there's happiness. The sun is shining there. Um, but this person you're connecting with, I'm seeing them making some type of decision. All right. And we have the six of pentacles here showing up with the six of pentacles again right there. All right. So whoever it is. That you're dealing with over here where the sun is shining and the two of you are giving each other love emotions happiness um be careful of this third party because this is where the third party breaks in and this person that you're dealing with here i i'm don't really like what they're doing here because it feels like this person is starting something new with this third party and they're they're not really telling you about it i would be careful of someone here that you're connecting with tell me why the knight of cups is here Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups, the King of Pentacles. Wow, all these people and the King of Cups. You guys, I really, 
you know, I really don't feel like this person where the cycle is closed out is showing up as devil energy. This person or this situation can really affect you that greatly, but they're going to try to, all right? They're, there's like an argument. There's a conflict here. Um, choices that need to be made. There's too many people showing up right here. We have the King and the Queen of Cups. All right. And then there's this energy here of... Stability, a foundation that's kind of like you need to decide what to focus your time on because there's someone here that you love it's a soul connection except for this person they come with a lot of drama okay and it causes you to have to drug juggle and um you're taking action approaching them with love but at what expense that's what i need to ask at what expense because this is this love right here i mean it's like a back and forth energy where you feel like you want to have everything with this person, but yet you don't want to let them completely into your world. You may feel like this person right here, like you don't completely trust them. But there is a, there's that third party outside energy there. That's kind of coming in to be tangled up in the midst of all. Why is the Three of Wands here? Tell me about justice. See, there's a... Oh my gosh. A legal matter. I mean, there's no other way I can read it. Someone has a legal matter going on. The King of Swords, Judgment, and Justice. It's like you've already turned your back on this. You're looking out. You're manifesting the new. Trying to make something else happen. And there's this weeping energy behind you that I don't. I don't like it. It's the devil energy. See, look at that. Just as I said, the devil energy. Did you guys see that devil come out? This is confirmation. You know, this is toxic. Tell me more about the empress. Okay, so it's over. It's, it ends here. All right, you guys. Um, you will be celebrating and moving into the new. The devil's just going to try to stir up some problems here. Um, before you, before you're able to completely close out this cycle, just be aware of that. All right, you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me, and I'll see you guys later. Namaste.